Hi everybody, I'm Dominic from HBDIY.com. In this video, and I thought it would be a, a good video, show you how to replace a toilet. Now this is our temporary toilet on our whole big project house here. And I'm going to show you how to remove it. It's, it's actually extremely easy for anybody. The hardest thing is sometimes, you know, they weigh a few, a few pounds. First thing we want to do, turn the water off to the toilet and flush it. You're going to get rid of all this water that's in the tank. You want to hold it down. Mike, see if you can take a better look at in here. You want to hold it. Now, although the water's not filling up in it and the water is off, we still have quite a bit of water in there that we want to get out, okay? Now, one of the things that usually most all these would have is a wet vac. Well, wet vacs are good for cleaning toilets. After. All right. Well, we wouldn't flush the toilet, but in the tank, we probably have a good inch of water still in there, which we really want to get out. Yeah, you can use an old towel, rags, and get it in there and sop it all up. Or if you have a wet vac, that's great. Just whoosh, suck it all out like that, and that's how I do it. All right, now that I used the vacuum and I cleaned out the tank, and the bowl, and be careful about using the vacuum in the bowl. Do make sure you flush it, otherwise you won't be so happy. Next is our supply line. Uh, you'll see different sizes, different types. This is a braided one. Now we just gotta loosen this up. Now, being that I used the vacuum to clean the tank out, we shouldn't have any drippage, but have some kind of cup, a little bucket, something that can fit under it, that once you do take this line off, uh, it's a good possibility you can get a little water to run off. On it and see what we got. Get the cup ready. Yeah, we do have a little bit, but a couple drops. All right, not a big deal. Now, next, what we want to do, we want to take our two bolts off. Now, you know, this toilet's only been on here for uh, maybe a month or so, but some of these bolts that hold the toilet down, there's only two of them, one on each side, over you know, your toilet could be in there for 20 years. and Taking them off, taking the nut off, could be really uh, just extremely hard. In that case, you just get a, a hacksaw blade and you can get in there and, and just cut it right off and just take them off. Okay, okay, go ahead. Okay, now that we got our supply line disconnected, we have our bolts disconnected, well, there's really nothing holding the toilet in. But again, your toilet could have cork going around it. In that case, you want to get a utility knife and go around and clean that up because you don't want to take the floor up with it, just in case. And the toilet, you want to give it a little rock. Make sure it's loose, it breaks loose, front and back maybe. And then with just two hands, straddle it like this. Just pick it up over the bolts and gently put it down on either a rag or in my case, uh, cardboard. Now, if you come over here and look, this is our Johnny ring here. This is our old one. Again, it's only, and oh boy, start smelling those gases come up. This is our old wax ring. Okay, one thing about a wax ring, the wax on it, extremely nasty. You don't want to get it on the floor, your clothing, because honestly, it's really, really, really hard. This is a regular paint stick. And I'm just going to start scraping it up. So let me get this cleaned up and we'll show you what we're going to do next. Two seconds. All right, we have our whole toilet flange all nice and clean from the wax. And we don't want to clean like you want to eat off of it. Just, you know, take the, you know, the big heavy uh, residual of the wax off. Now here's our new wax ring, John ring, whatever you want to call it. And if you look, and I really, every time I replace a toilet, I always use the ones with the flange in it. The flange is this little plastic ring in here, which works good because you see, this is where the toilet's going to sit, and this is where all your water is going to come down. And the flange makes just helps it makes it makes sure that it goes down into the drain and not on the outsides, you know, along the seal, in case that seal didn't work 100%. One thing on the flanges. Now, this is kind of hard for me to explain to you, but we'll give it a try anyway. Uh, older house, you can have a thicker floor. The plumbing was changed before, and this flange could actually be down an uh, inch or not even more down in under the floor, uh, lower than the floor. So then putting a the ring on it, uh, you really only have about a quarter inch of a seal or if any, if anything. So if that's the case, you don't have to start going crazy 
But what you do, you get one of these rings with the flange on it. You buy another one without the flange on it. It's a little bit smaller. You can actually lay it on top of each other. Okay, not two big ones like this, but this one and a smaller one. And that usually does the trick. All right, I explained how you clean the wax ring. You see our flange is black here, our plastic pipe, and our flange on the toilet for our Johnny ring is also black. All right, one thing you want to make sure, because it's kind of kind of easy to make this mistake, if you have an old fl uh, old flange like that, make sure you get it up. So you see, I actually left the old one behind to show you. See that? And that one created a problem for us. And there's some more wax in there, so we're going to go ahead and clean this. Okay, bolts. Put them in like that. Now, if you notice your new bolts, and I always use no new bolts, you don't want to play cheapo and try to use the old bolt, bolts over again, okay? Plus, the new bolts are going to be longer, and you're going to see how, how much easier it's going to make things. Get this little plastic washer you get with them. Want to know what they're for? Just push them right down like that. They're going to help hold the, the bolts straight and keep them in there while we put our toilet. Our Johnny ring is going to lay right like that. Make sure the bolts are going at 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock. That will make things a lot easier with the new toilet. All right, now if you were just replacing a seal on your toilet, you would turn the toilet over and make sure that was also all clean of all the wax. But in this case, we're putting a brand new toilet in, so we're just going to set it right on top, keep these bolts nice and straight. We're going to get that toilet, we're going to lift it right over and keep them making sure these bolts are going to go through that nice and even. Big stop. Okay, that all lined up pretty good in our toilet. It looks a lot different than the old one, huh? Well, I do. You see, the toilet's still raised up because it had turned any rain that wax and has not compressed all the way yet which is good, so I know that we're making contact with it, push it down. What I like to do is just sit on it. Rock, give it a little rock back and forth till it lays nice and flat on the floor. <sighs> Looks good. Okay, now I can go ahead and put our bolts in for our Johnny ring. Stop. All right, now we're tightening our, our bolts on both sides of the toilet. Now, notice I have a small wrench in my hand. Small wrench, because I don't want to put a lot of pressure on it, because this is porcelain, and it can and will crack away, and you certainly don't want to do that. But very important, as you tighten them, you're going to tighten a little bit on both sides at a time until they are snug, okay? It's no big deal. You don't want to get them down really tight, but, you know, snug, but not too much. You, know, you only have one chance. You crack it, that's it, garbage, okay? Now, this toilet is actually quite unique where we have a, a cover that actually covers this whole thing. Uh, normally, you know, you wouldn't, and you would put your cap on top of here and use a hacksaw and cut it and do things a little different. Unfortunately, this is the toilet that we are putting in for this video. Okay. Stop. Okay. Now you got the toilet in place, you got your Johnny bolts in, toilet's nice and, and tight. Now sit on the toilet with your pants on and try to rock the toilet because if it rocks at all, all right, if you have like a ceramic tile floor, the floor's a little uneven, don't worry about it. It's, it's not really the toilet's fault. You can put little wood shims, little shims here and there uh, and tighten it up. Don't put the caulk around the toilet and think that's going to tighten up your toilet, that's all Rocky, rocky, okay? That may, toilet may be good for you, but your Aunt Bertha who's got, you know, comes and sits on it, and, you know, I mean, all of a sudden, ba boom all right? So just put, like, little wood shims there. No no big deal. And then you can actually uh, caulk around that if you want. Uh, a lot of people, they do caulk around the toilet on the bottom. And, like me, I know. I'm not really that much of a slob that I have to worry about it, you know, getting all ugly looking and stuff. Uh, now, normally, you would go and connect your supply line next, but unfortunately, um, my, our supply line is a little too short, and I want to finish the video, and I have to go to the store and go buy a new one, so uh, you, you don't get to see it in action, but some other time. Anyway, you would connect your supply line, same way you took it off, turn it on, check for leaks. 
water's going to fill up about 1.6, 1.8 gallons is going to fill into the tank. And you have your little water lines in there. You might want to check that. Make sure uh, on this toilet, I see a line that says water line. Make sure your water level goes up to that line. You know, you don't got to be right on the money here and there. Not a big thing, but definitely not overflowing. Now, after you do that, the big test. Toilet's empty. Look, well, the, the bowl is empty. Nothing in it. Tank's full. Whoosh. Give it a flush. And you know, hope for the best. If you followed it and it told you, it's good. Walk away from it. But, you know, it happens, right? You flush it, you got 1.6 gallons of water going boom, boom, on shot. If anything's wrong, the water's going to pretty much leak out. Get ready with towels or whatever to clean it up. But, you know, you really shouldn't have that problem at all, okay? Probably make the video to teach you how to do this the right way. All good? Boom. Close it. Start using it. Now, it's the problem. That's all the easy part. You went, you bought the new toilet at the store. But guess what? You gotta get rid of the old one. Well, around here, it's a little bit of a nicer area. So I'm gonna take it down the road, well, a few miles down the road, kind of like where my ex-wife lives. Uh, a lot of hillbillies, rednecks, things like that. I think I can sell it to them for like 20 bucks for a lawn or what a minute. Yeah, they'll like, oh, maybe 10 bucks. Anyway, I hope you learned how to put a new toilet in and enjoy using it afterwards. I'm Dominic from XMediaDIY.com. Thanks for watching.